is listed right there on your screen in terms of where they're located at 1960 Scott Street. Uh, the information too can be found on their website at trailheadpaddleshack.ca, trailheadpaddleshack.ca. So, this looks amazing. It's always nice when you get stuff brought to the studio and it looks quite impressive. Uh, Jason, give us a quick rundown before we kind of get into all of the equipment and what we need as to what the store offers. Uh, what we do at uh, Trail Paddle Shack is uh, we sell uh, canoes, kayaks, uh, camping gear, hiking gear, all the clothing that goes with it, and uh, footwear. Uh, and we also rent the product, so we'll rent canoes, kayaks, and stand-up paddle boards. I was going to say, a lot of people maybe are looking to say, do we like this enough to invest? Because this is something that you're really investing in, right? It's a pastime that you want to be able to do. And the, the rental is probably a key aspect. Rental is a great way to start. Uh, you, can, you can rent a stand-up paddle board. Uh, for $25 a day oh, wow. so you can get in and, and uh, make sure you do like the sport first and then uh, and then rent a canoe or a kayak uh, you know on a different day mm -hmm. and then decide you like the sport uh, before you invest all the money getting a little windy yeah. <laughs> uh, the one thing that you brought in I we're gonna be talking about the paddleboard because that's a huge uh, sport that's really taken off a lot of people are having fun with it but we want to hit on the canoe right now because this one's a spectacular it's beautiful what are, we, what are we seeing them made out of right now? So this canoe here is made by Swift, which is out of Gravenhurst. Uh, it is made out of uh, flax fusion. So it's actually a flax, the stem of a flax seed for the outside really? material. Yeah, it's, uh, it's like something that's just the flax seed that new. we consume. The flax seed that we consume. So uh, it, it's a great look to the canoe mm -hmm. because of the fact that it's a brownish uh, color and that brownish color makes it look like a traditional uh, wood canoe, but it's also very light and very durable. So this canoe weighs in around 38 pounds, it's 16 feet long, it's a prospector. So this could be one that you could definitely um, put overhead it, and then start tracking. It's a great portaging it, canoe. Uh, it's amazing to see. Now the thing is, is that someone would assume that they need the canoe, the paddle, and a life jacket and off they go, but there are some things and some tools that you'd probably like to have or just to, to be aware of that they'll help with in terms of safety issues. For safety, number one, you do need to have uh, with you on the water at all times, you have to have 50 feet of floating rope, which can either be in a bag or in a kit. Mm -hmm. You have to have a, a baler of one liter minimum. This actually acts as a baler and a, flo uh, a throw rope at the same time, uh, where this kit does the same thing. It comes apart and you do have a, a baler as well. Uh, you have to have a whistle as well at all times when you're on the water, and that includes kayaking, canoeing, as well and a flashlight if you're uh, um, out after dark. So these kits really provide everything that they would be looking for in a checklist if you have them in your in everything. The... Yeah, everything in that checklist and then along with your life jacket and a paddle, some sort of propulsion device you have to have and that's by law. What else do you have in here? So some of the other things if you're going to do a canoe trip, uh, one of the main things is again a first uh, is a medical kit. This is a waterproof um, first aid kit. You want to always have a first aid kit with you when you're going on a, on a canoe trip or camping trip in any way. That's that's for sure, along with the safety gear that you have. Some of the other stuff that I brought, uh, you know, a, a water filter is very important because we're not always drinking the water where we're out anymore on the water. So we want to make sure we can filter that water to get fresh water all the time. It's, it's essential on a, on a multi-day camping trip for sure. Is it, it, do you find that people come in and they think it's going to be a lot it, it sounds simple, right? I'm going to get up and I'm going to go and I'm going to get in the canoe and I'm going to take off on the water. But there's a different aspect of mentality now that you really need to look through all of these issues yep. before you head out. Yeah, you want to you want to make sure you've thought about it before you go out for a multi-day trip, whether it be Algonquin Park or somewhere else. You want to make sure that you do have uh, the proper gear so that something doesn't happen two days into the trip. Can I ask so, what this uh, big So this is just is? A, a good <laughs> waterproof uh, bag to put your sleeping bag in, a thermo rest which you would sleep on. So it, it's a it's a nice pack sack, Can I see? easy okay. to throw on your shoulder, and uh, and it's all waterproof. You just throw it on. It so can go it, in the water. So what, what are you able to put? It looks like you can't fit anything in there. What's in there? That's a whole week's trip. Everything's in there. Yeah, everything. You've got clothes. You've got. That's what you're gonna put in there. Everything goes. Everything's in there. gonna be lightweight. So you're going to okay. have no cotton pants, you're going to have no cotton shirts. It's going to be all a nylon base or polyester base, so it dries quickly. And it's also UV protectant, a lot of it being sunproof. And that's a lot of the stuff that we sell in the store, too. I was going to say, I think you're, 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 the checklist yeah. just got a little bit bigger yeah. when you're thinking that's of right. it. So there's some wonderful opportunity, uh, and I think the rental is uh, definitely key. So we're looking at, I mean, what people are looking at rentals. What do we, start price to end price? Uh, 
in, in a canoe you can start at around $25 a day and go up to about $50 a day depending on uh, the type of canoe you're going to use whether it's a fiberglass canoe which is a little bit heavier uh, to a fully outfitted whitewater canoe which would have uh, end bags or air bags in it to to uh, disperse water if you're in a, in a whitewater situation and that would be a little bit more expensive. And then if people are looking to actually you know invest in something like this that what would be like a baseline if that they know that this is something they're passionate about and want to do it more often? Uh, we start selling canoes at about $9.99 and go up to this is a higher price one at about $32.95. Okay <laughs> I mean still it's a piece of equipment you think about what you spend on a bike you know it's it's amazing to see the comparison. So it is and you'll have it for that canoe will last you for 20 years. Yeah that's well, amazing this is beautiful too. I like Flaxseed. Flaxseed. <laughs> Who knew? Uh, we're going to take a commercial break.